the FIFA World Cup. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> We're in Conifa. So I'm at Enfield Town FC and I'm here for the, the Conifa World Football Cup. Basically that is all the independent and displaced countries that aren't members of FIFA. This is a stadium here and I've just parked up and doesn't seem to be anyone around. There were 16 teams in the London-based tournament, which include the likes of Northern Cyprus, Tuvalu and Tibet. Now Tibet had a team talk before they left from the Dalai Lama. My match featured a playoff between Kabylia from Algeria and Matabela Land from Zimbabwe for the 9th to 16th placings. But before we get to that, I chatted to people around the ground, each with their own interest in the event, including a former Liverpool goalkeeper. Look who I found, I found Bruce Grobelar here at the um, football. What's your story? How come you're here today? Well, uh, I was asked to help out with the Matabilaland team. Uh, they, they needed visas, so I had to intervene and ask the government to get their the, the visas and travel visas. Justin here said, well, come along as an extra coach and some little expertise for the, for the youngsters. You must, you must understand, half of, these, half of these players, they've never played on a, a proper football field. So their very first game, three games ago, was the first time they, half of them have played on a proper, in a proper game. And it's not a, you know, it's not a tournament that they play. It's do or die. Um, shall we back up there for a minute, buddy? Don't know what kind of rules these are. Unsurprisingly for someone who's won six top flight trophies, three FA Cups and one European Cup, with Liverpool, Bruce retains his competitive edge. But the tournament is much more than just the game. It is important that it brings uh, you know, states together, you know, people together. We made, you know, we're making friends with the, the opposition. It's a tournament to get the players a little bit of experience, a little bit of, you know, get showcased, yeah. you know. Who knows, maybe one of these, these guys will go on and play at a higher level after this. Crunching tackles by both teams and shouting coaches from the sidelines shows the spirits there at least. My name is Alvaro Velázquez and I'm collaborating with Conifa as photographer. Originally I'm from the Basque Country in San Sebastian, but I live in London. The fans are, from, as you say, from different kind of nationalities. They are very powerful, very kind, all of them. Yeah, they are. They came here just to, to have fun. Um... Okay, so I'm here with, what's your name? Uh, Anan Omar. And, uh, and who are you playing, your team? Uh, Kabilia. Okay, there we go. So there, his team is just about to start in this playoff. Um, and we're trying to carry out an interview using Google Translate because my French isn't very good and uh, his English isn't very good either, so this would be interesting. Um, how do you like London? Yeah, I like London. What do you like about it? Qu'est-ce que j'aime à Londres? Sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Is the beautiful? C'est beau. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I should remember French. It's... It's really nice, beautiful. Yeah. Be beautiful. Yeah. Sympathic. Beautiful people. Yeah. People are free nice and friendly. Friendly, oh, yeah. London, eh? Who knew? Um, um, and uh, food? Clima. Uh, oh. Yeah, free. <laughs> Your pleur? <Yeah. laughs> really bad. Sorry. Jesus, he <laughs> Yeah. Despite the blue sky. Yeah. Oh, okay. There, there's some blue sky. Gris, gris, gris. Grey sky. Yeah, yeah, yes. Gris. <laughs> Say, uh, beaucoup de soleil. Oh. Not today. <laughs> <laughs> pas, pas uh, aujourd'hui. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> it is a little cloudy. Yes, yeah, it yeah, is. <laughs> it's a lot cloudy. But how do you say that? Nuagu. Nuageux. Nuageux. Nuage, nuage, oh, nuage, nuage, nuage grey. Nuage grey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Well, I think that's a 
got a lot of information out of this young man, so I think we'll leave it there. Thank you very much. So back to the penalties. And I've got to say, you don't usually get this close to the action. So Kabilia went first. Both teams had hits yeah. and misses, but Kabilia ended up beating Mata Belilan four goals to three. So Bruce did the right thing and went onto the pitch to shake hands with the opposition, including the president of Cabellia Football Association, with whom I did another cracking translated interview, which unfortunately didn't record. But the big man is still not a fan of losing. You can't imagine Bruce Robler is going to be too happy that they've gone out on pens, but I've gone out onto the pitch now. So let's find out, shall we? Unlucky Bruce going out on pens, eh? Yeah, well. <laughs> it's all very high tech here as well. There's even a bit of live streaming going on. Overall, it's just a fabulous event. And as much as I'm looking forward to the FIFA World Cup, the Kanifa World Football Cup has its place too. And you were telling me next year there are some interesting possible teams coming in. Who are you telling me? We, we've, we've heard, heard rumour that um, Yorkshire are going to uh, get, get their own team uh, up and they're going to call themselves Yorkshire International, which is And I'd like to say Cornwall, because my family from Cornwall. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah. The possibilities are endless, I should imagine. Yeah.